got me as hard as a coffin nail. Poem written and read by Polly Creepo. I'm influenced by sickness and death. Watching something decompose before my eyes is quite the spectacle. It's in my nature. Ruin, collapse, always enjoyed watching something die. I should have gone into politics. People enjoy watching creation more than watching destruction. Well, those people obviously differ from me and you. As above, so below. You can't have light without darkness. But at times, the light fades and the serpent keeps eating its own tail, caring not for whose tears will be shed by tomorrow's wake. Sometimes I wish I had no feelings towards anything on this planet, so I couldn't get sucked into the bullshit hype of things. If you have no friends, you attend no funerals. But what's the point? If you never risk it to make friends or to make love, you can't have those memories or experiences. The pain of loss is worth it, and is only felt because you risk losing something, if not everything, one day. The more it hurts, the more it meant to you, and that's a great come up in your life. Because life is many experiences of right now moments. It's constantly right now. The past is gone, and the future hasn't come yet, so there is only right now. This, this sentence is my right now. And because I put forth the effort, I created it. Live for the right now, and never regret. The only regret you should feel is falling prey to yet another mistake you've already made once before. Learn from them. Move on. Never regret. Nobody wants to read an autobiography of someone who never took chances and never left the house. Great suffering develops great knowledge and strength. I felt the pain of hunger, so I now love to work for what's mine, and I'm not picky when it comes to food. I have learned to truly appreciate things in life. And it makes me smile to see my scars and think of their origins. Again, I love to watch things die. It's animal. I've always felt like I was blind in the wilderness, just left to wander aimlessly. I have no real purpose other than to accidentally see or do something at that right possible moment. Serendipitous. I'm a perfect clusterfuck of ruin and blossom, rot and harvest. I'm a man. As above, so below. I've only scratched the surface of my power. For, as a man, I am still very much a child, wielding his father's gun, lost in oblivion. Yes, children, it's that kind of morning. Cigarette smoke in your eyes. Throat hoarse from the morning. Those long, intense stares at yourself in the mirror seem to go on and on. The world sleeps on your porch like a stray dog, reeking of foul plague, struggling to breathe. I want you to stay. Stay in your grave. Haunted lovers so cold, cold and depraved. Well, I like my women boneyard scarred. The phantom resides atop the climax and lingers in a fog. My heart of scar tissue, my heart a burn victim. Disfigurement. A rock star death is too late at 28 because I know too much. And I want you to stay, stay in your grave. And these flowers are atonement for my departure. And closure is a dirty knife. Just past remnants of a love in a jar. A new home of soil. Go down slow and decay. As all things do. Because I want you to stay. Stay in your grave. I mourn you. The lost. No hope for a leper. 
Don't invite the dead into your bed, because now you know too much.